Welcome back to the Dowie Podcast. My guest today is Grandmaster Sam F.S. Chin. Master Chin is the co-founder and gatekeeper of Elik Chuan, and he is also the founder and president of the Chin Family Elik Chuan Association and the creator of Elik Chuan Grading System. Over the past several decades, he has taught his art to thousands of students all over the world and has licensed instructors across the globe. He is also the author of the book, Elik Chuan, Martial Art of Awareness. Master Chin, thank you for meeting with me today. Um, yes. We, could we get started? Uh, you're from Malaysia originally, correct? Uh, yes, I'm from Malaysia. Okay, and so um, could we talk a little bit about your um, your days back in Malaysia and in your um, your study of martial arts there, particularly with your father and how you got started, how Elite Chuan came to be? Could you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, I mean, uh, we live in a rural area. It's Malaysia. So uh, part of the, um, in Kuala Lumpur, it's Lango State. You see, part of the rural area is called Ulu Langat. So normally, um, rural area, the uh, we at, at what you call at 60. So the, the 60, the year 60 at the time was not, we don't have much entertainment. You see, entertainment is to train. Right. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Right, the three martial arts, like 60s, 70s, you see. Mm. So um, so my father used to teach several students at home when I was young. So I just follow, you see. When I was young, like 10 years old, 11 years old, right, to, to 12 years old. I mean, we just follow, you see, what they're doing, you see. And slowly, um, we got interested. I got interested in it, you see. Right as we um, as we grow up, of course that um, that my father slowly create. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't say it's create. Create. I mean, he he come up with a his three training method. Right with the training method, you see. Yeah. So um, so from from in 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 seventies, we do fought a lot of tournaments. Yeah. All right in uh, in seventy five and seventy six we fought with that 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 area that that year was karate mm -hmm. and seventies were karate you see and then slowly there would be like muay thai you see so we we do a lot of tournaments with in um, in karate tournaments and then in seventy six we do fought they they create a kind of more Chinese martial arts tournaments. So we do fought some tournaments, you see. Yeah. Now, yes, and um, and then right. slowly things start to get what I call uh, as you train more, you get more experience on um on things, you see. All right. So uh, in uh, in nineteen what I call in nineteen nineties, not before that, I traveled to seven countries. You see, in eighties I was in Australia. So I teach some students over there. So that's why my, my first group was actually was in Australia in 80s. Okay. All right. Yeah. Then slowly we in 90s, we I, I migrate down to come back, come to United States. So when you you were you were actually you you mentioned that you know you competed in some tournaments and things like that in Malaysia. You were actually a, a kickboxing champion there. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. In, in, I'm a heavyweight kickboxing champ in um in 70, 70, 77 in Slango State. Mm. So, um, I imagine that the arts that you were training at home were probably uh your your father trained in several different martial arts, correct? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, did you? I know that kickboxing is a sport and it has rules and everything, but did you find that you were able to incorporate some of the principles from your other martial arts into the ring? When you compete, yeah. When we when we try to train a, a sport event, right? The tournaments is like it's already entirely different. Like yeah. you fight with rules, right? Right. So it bend a lot of um of principles. Yeah. So um, I mean, of course, there are some basic, basic kind of like concentration, right? A basic kind of uh, uh steadiness, like calmness. Footwork, right? Like generate power, yes. Other than that, you got to fight with rules. You see, right. 
right? You, if you, you fight in Muay Thai, you got to fight Muay Thai rules. You fight with karate, you got to fight karate rules. <laughs> Depends right. what rules they throw out, you see? Right, yeah. I mean, uh, slowly later on, we recognize that game is good, right? We said that uh, slowly we try to understand that uh, there is law, right? Natural law is different from human-made law. Right. All right? Right. As we as, as we study more about Taoism, like or, or Buddhism, is based on law of nature. Yeah. But when, when based on law of nature, there is nothing to remember. All right, you cannot think about it. Right. So once you think about it, you get stuck on mm. on 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 what you what on the past. You say you were stuck on the past experience. You say. Yeah. But when we talk about being in the moment with nature, that you cannot base on that. So when you come to on the on the, that's why when we come to sport, right? Tournament fight is entirely different from real fight. Yeah, for sure. So when when the system when Elix Run started to be formulated, um, was was the I was that the original idea to try to just get to the principles behind the thing rather than the technique or try to um Yes, at the beginning at my father was formulating different arts, like he said, he had he learned like uh uh Juga. No, not not Juga, he learned that kind of liga. One of the family arts, Li, you see, like Choi Li Fat, Choi Li Ga, Choi Li Fat, then Li, you see, there's one, sorry, one. And then he have the, what I call the, the uh, Phoenix Eyes. No. That Phoenix Eyes, you see, That's nine point feet, the Phoenix Eyes. Yeah, right. And then slowly he learned one art to call um, Fong Yang Lu Yi. It's the, it, it, this is almost all, all Southern arts. The Fong Yang Lu Yi, you see, sometimes they call it Xing Yi Ba Gua also. Ah. But then, then he recognized that the art itself is more of training yourself. You see, it doesn't matter. He he doesn't need to stick into one system. You see, one branch of system they would lock them up. You see, yeah. So then they talk about more more about the um, what I call uh, the the formless kind of thing. You see, yeah. Right. So um, basically. Basically, that's how they form the um, the system. Then they come up, they form up one organization. They name under the name under Ili Chan, oh. right? Based on my father' arts, you see, with a group of friends and uh, and and his what what he call his uh, martial arts uh, brothers and sisters. You see, yeah. they form the organization, all right? Form the organization based on what he teach, you see. So uh, basically, like the story is about that, you see, under the um, under the process, like he said that my father would be saying that like, uh, you must know yourself, right? Know, know your opponent, you see. It's a training about knowing yourself and knowing your opponent, you see. All right, now um, one thing, as for me, when I come to United States, I was um I was working in the temple in a monastery. This is a Chuangyan monastery in India. Chuangyan monastery, yes. For there I was influenced by 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 by, by the Buddhism, by the Zen. <clears throat> right? By the Zen, you see. No doubt in uh, in the earlier days, you see, Chinese martial arts talk about very important talk about is listening power. Right? Tingjing. As you say, thinking, right? Listening power. But at that time, you see, we didn't recognize that, oh yeah, thinking, yes, listening power. But when it comes to Buddhism, right, in temple, I recognize that, yes, thinking, but they are talking about awareness. Awareness is a listening power. Knowing power, you see? Yeah. But they are, the, the, the awareness, attention is a listening power, but they are in a, a bigger scope, right? In a bigger scope, in a way that 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 you train to listen, listen on this, listen on that, right? In in the temple, I start to recognize that it's not only that you must understand what is listening first. 
What is awareness first before you can aware of things? All right? Yeah. That's how the that's how it evolved. That that later on I come up with the uh, you know, that under the Zhong Xin Dao. So your uh, student manual. Yeah. yeah, the student manual. That uh, later on I create the um they call it Zhong Xin Dao. I mean the way of the heart. Oh. The way of the heart, you see. Um in a way, like I said, my father talked about know yourself, know your opponent. Then, then I, I push it back in a way that what is knowing that? All right? What is knowing that? You, you want to know yourself, then before you must know, before you know yourself, you must know what is knowing first. All right? Yeah. Then how can you know? And you're knowing based on what reference? All right, this is the, uh, it's a, it's for me, it's a breakthrough, is it? It's very critical. It's very base when you talk about attention. Right? Attention could be what? you. It's about knowing, right? You know. You know from the moment or you know from your experience. There are, there, here's two things already, is it? When you say you know from your moment, that means it's what? That means it's a present moment. And you know from your experience, that means it's a past. Right. <clears throat> that your experience is being accumulated, what? Yeah, through through accumulations, you see, from the past experience. So, yes, I, I do know. Yeah, you know the moment or you know from the past to judge the moment. So yeah. if, I, if I'm understanding you correctly, what you're saying is that, you know, I think that when we think about listening, we're thinking about sensing the opponent's intention or sensing the opponent's movement. But I think what, if I'm understanding you correctly, you're saying that if you are, you can only go so far based on your past experience, right? You, ha you have to actually learn how to, how to like be in the present moment. But the problem is that when we, when, when when sometimes when we do we we doesn't we, we are not clear about which side we are using. Oh, I see. Yeah. Right. You are not clear. You are moment now. You are using the past now. Ah. You see, we want to understand now. I'm with the moment. What what is what is the characteristic and the quality to to be must be there in order that you can be in the moment. And what is the past? You see, you must be clear about this first. Or else you doesn't know. Yes, I just know. You see? I know. But because like you say, sensing. Sensing is the feeling. Feeling in the moment or feeling with the, your past experience to, to know. You see? Yeah. Right? I mean, uh, it's very tricky here. You see? So like we said that um, uh, because that sometimes you say knowing the moment you must have, you must be able to hold on to the present. Yes? That what is present there? How can you be present? The present is keep on changing. Yeah. <laughs> right? True. The moment you say you're present, are gone. Right. True. Yeah. Right? So then no doubt, they keep on saying that, okay, you must change with the change. So how can it be able to change? How do you recognize the change or not? You say, what do you need to ever to recognize the change? So because of this, uh, I've been keep on contemplating and looking at that, you say, you know? So like we said that um, in the past, past experience, I do, you, do you know what, what have the past experience have, the, have, have, have what kind of quality and characteristic? It's not, it's not that it's bad, is it? But you must know. And I'm using the past, I'm using the front, uh, a present, is it? Mm. Now, when we say past, you just, you have only three kinds of feeling when you are using past experience. You like it, you don't like it, you don't know. These three feelings. All right, because you're using your viewpoint, right. your own viewpoint, you see? All right. From your own viewpoint, that means it's your own experience. 
It's not based on the nature nature view. Right? Nature view, nature view is about able to hold on the moment to see the change and be with the change, to understand the we saw, we talk about the uh, the change here have come and go, right? It's a it's a process. Right. Yeah. Within the process, we sometimes we say is separation and unification. Come and go. Has that taken come and go because I've taken a relationship, right? Do, do you get me? Yes. Yeah. We like like Buddhism, they can fall, uh, raise and fall. Is it come right. and go, come and go, come and go? It's a process. Right. But can you be with that moment to see the change, the the relationship, the cause and effect over there? That means you need a very uh, uh what I call a strong attention. Strong attention to maintain over there. You see? Yes. To over, if, if, to maintain over there, it's not that easy. When we talk about maintain. So now, in order to maintain, we say flow. Like Tai Chi talk about, Tao talk about non-resistant, non-back off. That means it's together. Flowing. Yes? Right. But when we say flowing, <clears throat> Flowing is still a concept. They're doing it, but it's another one, one, another one thing. Now, for 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 my so many years of training, uh, we found out we only recognize that only through balancing. <laughs> you, you get it? Balancing the balancing the moment. The moment, okay. Because you are constant adjusting and balancing the moment to flow. That is a process. Mm. That is a present moment. Uh, there's, I, 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 there's no other way. I can't find other way. If any, if anyone can find any other way, please let me know. <laughs> All right. So how do you how do you uh like when you have a beginning student how how do you teach them this this uh enhanced intent attention what is the what is the methodology for teaching them how to uh, just how uh, to pay attention in the beginning yes because there is a there's a process of you must understand what is attention is yeah. where the attention what is attention is where you put attention do you recognize the attentions can you see the attention or not all right if you cannot see the attention, that means we say that you you don't know where to put your attention. You you can't flow with your attention. Hmm. You see? Yes. All right. Because that uh, uh, sometimes we are taught to say, okay, do the action, do this way, do that way. But but actually, you can see the attentions that um. Is is regulating, regulating, regulating uh, the what called regulating the the pressure, or regulating the speed. Anything that regulates and balancing it, that you can see that is with attention. All right, like maintaining the swing speed, or you mm. want to change the speed. Mm. You know how do you know? Your attention must be there. Right. That's why in Tao they talk about Yi Tao, Qi Tao, Li Tao. Yes? Attention must be there first. If attention is not is not there, how can you know? Right? You must meet first to be there. And then when your attention is already there, then your energy is only arrived. Then with the attention with the energy, then the action. This 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 must flow in in this, this this process. If you in any actions, if your attention is not there, we I, I watch my student. If you cannot recognize your attention, don't do any movement. Then just, just stop. If they cannot recognize attention, because that if you cannot recognize attention, if you start to move, it will start to build some 
that is unconsciously movement. With unconscious movement, then you will build up habits. Mm. You see? Yes. Like Tao or Zen, we want to get away from habits. Habit is is the is is the is the past experience accumulations that form that form the habit, the habit that form the ego, that form the characters. Is it? Yes. Yeah, and normally, no, normally I, I do tell my students that um they say that uh first I will let them know uh there's three kinds of knowledge. Right? There are three kinds of knowledge. The first knowledge is about first knowledge is through through schooling. And you grow up, you experience, you see, you hear. Is it? Yes? Yeah. Through all this knowledge that you collect all this information. Right? You call how many information you collect that's based on how big your memory is, yes? Yes. Yeah, that is the first knowledge. Then the second knowledge, because of all these accumulations that you experience through all these senses, right? You know, all these senses that you receive, then you contemplate, you think about it, you process. Right. Like the computer, right? With all the information, they process it. Right. Right, the processes and you can, and over here you can build up something new here yes yes something formulate anything some something some new but to me i won't call it new because this is all based on second hand information right it's still based on second hand for me information but but you need that because like like now what i'm talking now when we come to communication we come to talk about philosophy, concept, and principles. You got to fall back to knowledge, right? It's a kind of knowledge. Is kind of a surviving, is it for survival? Is it for communication? For all these things? Is it? Yes. Yeah. Then the third knowledge is direct. It's direct. That means that you must direct with the moment. You must connect with the moment, not using the past experience. That means we talk about, uh, in, in meditation, we talk about concentrations and and uh, and vispasana, yes? Yeah. That, that means concentration and observing. Mm -hmm. Right? Concentration, you must able to pinpoint and hold and, and observe what is happening that happened in the moment. That is what is direct, direct knowing what is happening to happen. That means it's the way things are. So, so these three things, they must be able to understand. They must go through these three processes or so. Right? Because that the first one, like get all this knowledge and accumulations, then you can point. It's like a finger pointing to the moon. Then you know how to train. When you come to train, you, you throw everything out. It's just in the moment to observe. Then, you see, as we do meditations, you see, it's not about accumulation. Frankly, when, when people talk about, uh, you must do this to accumulate, to accumulate that, actually it's a wrong process. The nature itself, there's nothing to accumulate. It's already there. The nature itself, we talk about, you there's nothing to take away and nothing to add. If you take away and you add, you are interfering. Mm. You see? Yes. You must be with the flow along with it to see, to understand her, its relationship, the cause and effect, the cause and consequence. Right, to understand the the what they call the conditions, the conditions. Right? About cause and effect, cause and conditions. So then of course, here 
That means, that means from here is we call it a direct knowing. Direct knowing the nature itself. I say this is the three things. Mm -hmm. So it's just the reality of the present moment. And you know, I, I guess it's a it's gotta be a struggle um, for people coming to this from other traditions to try to set aside the, their preconceived notions about what works and what doesn't in a in a given exchange. Do you find it easier to teach people who have no prior martial arts experience or does it make a difference if they come from another style? Uh, actually, it doesn't matter. Yeah. All right. Both, both have his, his, his quality and both has his problem also. All right. So without martial experience, they are not searching. They, have, they don't have experience before. Then sometimes you give him a diamond. It, it's a stone. You just throw it away. Yeah. Yeah. Those who have experience, then once, once they recognize it, they value it. Mm, yeah. Right? But they value it, but I mean, the habit being built is not only for martial arts. You see, habit is built is through daily life also. Mm. Right? It's the way of life, you see. It's the way of life, how, how, our, ment how our mental formations built, you see. All right? That is where you need to recognize, you see, then how to how to distinguish that, All right? I won't say that knowledge is no good. Of course, we need to base on knowledge. You see, everything has its own powerful base, you see? But you need all these three things. Right? When you come to understand the nature itself is direct, you cannot think about it. When you, once you think, that's why in my process, when I teach my students that, um, that I come up with the three kind of uh, the, 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 the understanding, the, the path, the path of the training, right? So, of course, you need to understand the philosophy, the concepts, and the principle, what we use. And the concepts, I do simply say that there's nothing to learn. I mean, just to kill off, you think that you can, you are so great, you want to build something. Practically, it's nothing to learn. It's there already. It's not to add anything. All right? So because that, um, because learning is only just to recognize and realize what is there. You see? It's not thinking about it or you try to build something on it. So when you build something on it, you're already doing the first wrong move. Then later on, how right it is is all wrong. Yeah. Right. That's why we. That's why. That's why in Taoist we always talk about is. It's not about adding. It's about dropping. It's about letting go. It's in letting go. Habits, letting go ego. But that habit ego is what is all your past memory and past experience. All right. Yeah. <laughs> So because that because that we learn to let it go, not, not, not that to interfere. When once this interfere, you lose you lose your concentration. Because that we say, what is concentration? Concentration is because that less interference. <laughs> it's not that you I I could I could build up some concentration. There's nothing to build. You see? Yeah. If you if you said you want to build something, you're really wrong. But in the way of training, you want to hold to see what interfere you, you you want to recognize and let it slip off, let it let go, let it don't come, come to interfere you. If the if they don't interfere you, then then your attention here gets stronger. Stronger, what do you mean by strong? Strong. It's based on clarity. How clear you are. It's not power. There's no such thing as that kind of power. Power is based on clarity. If I'm so clear, if I'm so clear, that means my, I, my attention can maintain it over there. Right? So any other thing try to come to pull you off, they have no way to pull you off.
but you would able still not correct. You can still see at the moment, sometimes you see in the, in the process of training, you will see, you will still see or things try to come to interfere you, but you are more clearer here, right? Here, it's not that strong anymore. It won't, it won't disturb you, right? Because that habit, habit is more strong, is because that means you are more addicted to it, you see? More, <coughs> that means you are more clear. <coughs> yeah, you are more clear of the habit. <coughs> mm. So your mind runs, you see? Jump. Yeah. So that's why we said it's about clarity. <clears throat> it's, we talk about stillness and clarity. Right? It must be stillness and clarity. But when we said, now, when English words, we say words like stillness. Stillness is because you are not still, you want to be still. Yes? Mm. They're always opposite. <laughs> maintain, because you cannot maintain, you want to maintain. Yes? Yeah. But what is that? That means, that means you've got to keep on. That means the, we say that the um, the platform, you see, the things that you stand on, right? You want to be stable. You want to maintain. You want to be still. That means that must be steady. That means you must keep on balancing until it gets so steady. Uh, I know because sometimes we... Um, we, when we talk about philosophy, right? I, I keep on telling my students, sometimes if they if you don't accept the philosophy, what we talk about, there's nothing to talk, you see? Yeah. Like you said, that do you believe everything is changing? <laughs> like how talk about change? Couple thousand years about change. Hmm. The nature is change. The, na the characteristics of the nature is change. If you, if you don't believe that, then, then we, nothing to talk, you see? Right. Right? Like Buddhism talk about everything is impermanent. Yes. Right? If you don't believe impermanent, then how, how are we going to talk about it? Right. It's nothing to talk about it, is it? Hmm. Now, because that we believe, we look into the nature, the character of nature is change or is impermanent. That's why we need to constant adjusting to maintain the change with the change. To be stable, right? Yes. That means we keep on balancing here to be still. That is the present moment, right? Then with that moment itself, when you are clear, then you only can have. We said that uh, if any any action must come from one steady point. Yes. Yes. Let Tao talk about. Everything is from circle with circle with center. That center point that go out must return. Right? That is the center point. When we talk about center point, must be a steady point. Or else you cannot. And the standard point, because the center, what is center? What is the characteristics of center? Because it's balanced. So that's why it's center. It's a center. Yeah. <laughs> yes? Right. It must be... It must be balanced in all directions first, then that center is only form. Yes? Yes, that makes sense. <laughs> yes? Yeah. Or else you can't. You see, that my that's my way of teaching is that the first understand that when we talk about you must be with the center, then what is a the center? Like you want to be aware. What's aware? You must always come back to the, the characteristic first before you can able to understand how to use the center. Right, so you cannot say center of this, center of that. Then what is the center? How is the how do you understand the center is first? What's the what is quality that maintain the center? Right, that's why. That's why every time the balance energy with the center is about talk. We talk about six direction and three dimension. All right, so in Tao we talk about a point and a line. What's the point of line? <laughs> See? Yes? Uh, the top, very, very basically, the top, a point and a line. Right? Everything must come from a point and return to a point. Right? right. Must be a steady point to get a direction or else you cannot. It's, I mean, we said that um, if the point is not steady, 
you can't give direction. The same thing with the mind. The mind is not stable. You cannot think about anything. Right. Yeah, this is something that we I learned, you see, that in from the temple and so many years that of training also to put it to put it into kind of like a um, test, all right, all right, spreading spreading my arts to around the world from distant students with this kind of philosophy, but they could able to get it. Then it seems that it's working. Is it? Yeah, it must be. You have a lot of students in a lot of different places. Yeah. The, the ideas that you're talking about, you know, they're obviously heavily influenced by, you know, Zen meditation and things like that. Do you, is meditation yeah. a part of what your students do? Uh, is the sitting meditation a part of the practice in your art? Or is it more the um, behind? I mean, yes, there's the standing meditation. There's a, like we see, okay, meditation, we go through four posture, right? Sitting, standing, walking, or laying. Okay. Right? But then you can classify into... Um, Meditation into stillness, still and and dynamic. Okay. Right when we do when we do the um, actions like doing the form, doing the movement is dynamic meditation. Right. So it's all meditation. It's all meditation. Yeah. Mm. It's all meditation. You see, all right. That means uh, in a way, um, in a way that you're looking back to yourself. Mm. Yeah. You see, I mean, um, like we, like my father used to say, you must, un like you say, even you doesn't know this is your hand. How can you, how can you use your hand? Right. All right. So because of um, understanding, like uh, what is, what we talk about the, uh, the, characteristic, the characteristic of the mind and the body. Yes. You see, because the mind itself the function of the mind, you must understand the mind only can do one at one time. So we must know how to pay attention on, on one, one neutral point, one steady point to connect everywhere. That is the most, that's most important part of our training. Or else your mind jump. Hmm. When the mind jumped, of course, you still know, you still know, but your reference of knowing is different. That's what Tao talk about in Chinese. Talk, we in Chinese we say, "put li zhong." We never, never leave the center. The training is never leave the center. Now, what is so important about center, right? Because center is the balance point. All right, the center is a balance point, and and we, if you can understand that balance point, is also the present point, right? It's a is the moment point. So you never leave that point because you use that point as a reference to know. Because any actions or any things that you must reference to this point, you must like like you said, you must reference to a present point. The moment of changing point. Or else what you know will be different. That means what your view will be different. We talk about your viewing will be different. That means your understanding will be different. If your understanding is different, then your action will be different. Then the outcome will be different. Right. Right? It's all more about the viewpoint, you see? So is is it, is it would it be correct to say that the whole essence of the art is just to maintain uh, awareness in the present moment so that you can act accordingly? It's not really, the techniques aren't really, a, a, don't really matter at all, do they? I mean, it's sort of just the, the being there and then reacting appropriately. Would that be fair to say? Yes. Yeah. Uh, that means uh, you must react what is appropriately. But the problem is you must understand that when we talk appropriately, when we talk about nature, the nature has no freedom. Huh. Don't think have nature of freedom. The nature has as is as such. That's right. what you say. Nature is as such. It's the way things are. Must be this way. If you if you are not this way, you're violated. 
then you are not with nature. So the nature itself has its own formation. Right? It's not that, ah, oh, so, so the, the most free, that means it's with the nature. Right? The first thing that people might understand that nature have no freedom. <laughs> yes? Yeah. It is <laughs> right? what it is, right? It's just the yeah, way it the is. Thing, the way what he said, is it? That's why he call it's the way things are, is it? Yeah. <laughs> so when we act according to, 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 to that nature, no doubt we said that there's no technique, the philosophy, but they have a reference point. Hmm. Our body has one nature reference, right? When we live in this environment, have also a nature reference, right? In actions, we talk about, in actions, we talk about, when we talk of actions, we talk about uh, movement is based on this gravity. Yes? Yeah. Everything is act upon on the, on the gravity. Yeah. The center of gravity, that's why we talk about center of gravity. The center of gravity and every mass, every mass, now every object have a mass, yes? Yes. So the mass must be aligned with the gravity in order to have, that's why we said that um, under, under the three dimensions, the vertical line, the horizontal, horizontal dimension is the, is the pulmonary plane. So when you look at the world that things, how things grow, the tree grow up or the things that how you displace, everything is vertical, right. directly with gravity. That is a void, one, one, uh, base, base, one, 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 what they call the uh, principles that you must understand, right? Maintaining that line, that one point, that it, it, it evolved, you see. And uh, and also one more important thing is that <clears throat> like, like Tao talk about everything is changing. Like I said, that everything is changing. Only one don't change. It's the balance point that don't change. Yes? Because the, because the balance point is keep on changing not to change. Yeah. Right? So we train to understand that all right, you keep on changing to maintain, not to change, to get that one, that one balance point. You see, but that one balance point, and Tao talk about Tao that one, 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 that one, two, two, that one, three. That means we said the magic three, you see, everything is one, two, three, you see. Mm. Then everything is one. Like, like yin and yang, for instance, like yin and yang, yin yang. Yin and yang is two extreme parts, but they are, they are, they are opposite, but they are not what, oppositions. Yes? Yeah, they're working. They are good. opposite, but not opposition. Right. All right. Because Tai Chi talk about balance. Talk about balance, but they are opposite, but not opposition, but they must be contra, compre, contra, uh, complementary. Yes? Right. But what make what separate that? What unify that is is the three. Hmm. When we talk about yin and yang, there's a there's a line that cross it. Right. But most of people think of talk, only talk about these two. They don't talk about this line. Yeah. But this line, this line, we 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 emphasize a lot because this line is the neutral line, and this line is what. This line must be so strong to divide these two, to separate these two and unify these two. Right? This neutral line. Right. That's why this neutral line is a center line. Yeah, that's your balance point, right? It's a balance point. So you never leave that line when you do yin or you do yang. Once you leave this line, you do yin, yang, you are you go stream already. Yeah. Makes yeah, sense. this is a this is the most basic uh, Tao that we hold on to train. You see, yeah, never leave the center. That's all. <laughs> that's a philosophy I imagine must appeal to a lot of people. Um, 
I, I know that I saw a documentary once. I was a Chinese television documentary where you had some students that had some pretty um, severe disabilities, so blind people and other people like that that were doing elite trend, and it, it, it really seemed to be helping them. It's uh, fascinating that it can be used for so many different things, appeal to so many different kinds of people. Uh, yes, um, we, I do because China come down to do one documentary on me. That is what they call uh, the martial abroad. You see, there's a lot martial within, but martial yeah, abroad outside. You see, yeah. yeah. So uh, we are students there are doing a, a kind of a pro, uh, what they call that the the uh, what's the name already? They call it like a handicap. You see, yeah, like a disability. Yeah, yeah, disability. Yeah. Because understanding the center, the how to stretch it, how to maintain it, right? According to what what the moment he is, you see, help yeah. him a lot. Yeah. You see? Yeah. In a way, you see. Yeah. That, so so we have a lot of those also have blind people come mm -hmm. to train, you see. But it's not only that, you see, but we do teach like we say that. Uh first of all, we say that uh, like attentions, right? Like what is attention? How do you know what this attention is? How to pay attention? And and the most important thing is that, like we said, the experience, right? Who experienced it? You are the experience. You are the one who experienced it. But everything, everything comes through point of contact. Mm. Yes? Yeah. Then we, we, we teach them what is point of contact. Point of contact needs these three things. Object, subject, and conscious. Right, when we say subject is our our faculty, mm. object is what is what is outside. But but we must understand that we are the receiver. What we look at, what we hear, they all reflect to us. We our attention didn't go out. Mm. You must understand that we cannot go out tension. We that's why in meditations we always say we put our attention on our sense gate. Yes. We don't go out. We are the receiver. Like I said, I'm mostly I'm a student. Where do you see me? You see me outside, or you see me inside? Mm. No, you didn't see me outside. You see me is inside. Right. Yeah. You see? Yeah. You know it's, it's inside. Right. See. We are only the reflections, all right? Listening the same, you see? You, you listen to go out, it comes into you. Yeah. The touch the same, yes? Yeah. It comes to touch you, all right? I mean, this is the first thing that uh, the student must understand first, all right? Not like I stay outside, I look at you, stay at you like this way, you know? Like yeah. my father said, when you see some martial art do like this, like, huh? My father said, I, I tap on your head, I come back, your, your eyes still like this. Because you must understand, like I said, that attention only work one at one time. Yeah. If my attention go out, when I act, I need to bring back my attention. Yeah. You see? Yeah. That means you have, you have, that means you have to go out and in, out and in. Right. That means you are not ready. Yeah. Attention must be always within. Mm. That's where the readiness and alertness is. Mm. This is where the base of awareness. So, so st student, my student must understand this first before before you can train. Right? If you then we, we, we will show you why it worked that way, how attention works. You know, it's jumping, you 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 pay attention to the left, you forget the right. You pay attention up, you fall it the down. You see? Where yeah. to put attention so you can hold on one point and do everything. Right? That is what you call unification. Hmm. Yes? Yeah. See. So first of all, they must understand how mind the characters of mind first. And then the characters of action. Action comes from one point. One fixed point. Like sometimes we say call one pivot point and one rotation point. 
if the action is not from that one rotation point, you have no direction. That must be a steady point first. This is all about Tao. Hmm. <laughs> Tao talk about this, you see? Right. Yeah. It's, not, it's, not, it's, not my, it's not my kind of like um, uh, invention. Right. <laughs> this is all about Tao. Whether you recognize Tao talk about this or not. Yeah. All right. So because of attention, when you able to uh, feel yourself now, right? Maintain yourself now. Then you only can respond. There's no... If you're not clear about this philosophy of this of approach, then it will be very, very hard. You see, then, then, then you will, we will keep on searching. No doubt, I can talk about... I can give instructions. It makes sense to you, but it's all rubbish. Right. Like I said, uh, not enough. Too much. Yeah. Uh, do slower. Do faster. Mm. What is that? No reference. Right. Yeah. Right. Because if they do slower, everyone will based on that is different. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Every situation is different. Yeah. Yeah. They don't have one main steady reference for each people. Right. Right. <laughs> okay. So how do you I know that you have a your 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 grading system and your your curriculum you you, have, you give your curriculum to your students so that they know that there's sort of a uh, process that they're supposed to go through at every stage how exactly how exactly does that work how is the curriculum laid out Yes you know uh, um, the curriculum layout you see like you said that sometimes it's so hard you see like I said that um uh when I start to do this kind of structure you see it's just like there's three basket, mm -hmm. right? There's three basket, right? Now, the basket like there is like primary, uh, secondary, and college. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like which exercise do you throw on which basket? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, makes sense. Basic exercise doesn't mean that it's elementary. Right. More higher you go, it's still the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? It's still right. the action. You see? Right. Yeah. Right? But but we do need to make separately in, in the in the three basket, you see, in order to see, you see, uh the progressions. Yeah. Right? But our progression is not based on uh, how many to remember. Because progression is based on time and space. Mm. All right, based on time and space and coordination. No doubt, in the very, very beginning, you talk about is more stations. Then you talk about moving, right? Then you talk about unifying with partner. There's three things, three process. First is station, not moving. Not moving, that means the coordination is not that much, right? Right. It's less coordinating. But when you come to second stage that you start to move then the coordination is more then they make coordination they go through different section different joint yeah different section different joint and and coordination is able to produce power with coordination right so now because that the principle is the same you apply the same principle on station the same principles on moving and the same principle on unifying with partner and opponent. That means not only you now, you need to coordinate the, to the point of contact through opponent now. Right. right? There's three stages here, is it? Mm -hmm. But with the same principles. Yeah. Like I said, principle, same principle without leaving your center, for instance. Mm -hmm. Right? Of course, there will be still a lot more kind of uh, coordination of like open and close, right? Absorb and project, condemn and expand, is it? Right? Like absorb and project, you must maintain you, you with the gravity, right? When we say absorb and project, that means that you're, with your body that coordinate with the ground. You must always maintaining the ground. That means the fall, that means you're balancing with, you're, you're balancing with the floor, right. right? To expand. But you see, because a lot of people will try to root, try to root down. Mm -hmm. and then the rooting, you cannot stay, stay stable. It's 
we sometimes say, yes, rooting is about balancing. You must able to change with the change with the ground in order to maintain steadiness to generate power. This is, you say, that connecting the ground. But connecting the ground is one thing. When we say condemn and spend, is unifying yourself. Like unify your uh, everything that go to your dantian. Yeah. Or from your mingman. Yeah. Right? Unify your hand and body and legs all together through that one point. Right. Right? The right. draw to dantian one point, expand from the mingman from one point. That is condemn and spend between yourself and absorb and project with the flow. Hmm. But with that one, with that things, like I said, that all movement come from one point of rotation, right? That means that on the floor, you are rotating. Because that you cannot, if I'm square, I cannot generate power, yes? Right. I must have to right. rotate in order to, right? Right. I cannot right. punch this way, yes? I must right. punch this way. Right. I, yes? They yeah. must be open and closed. Right, yeah. So with one point of rotation, rotation itself, how balanced is your rotation? When the rotation from one point, that means you are spiking off six direction, forward, backward, left, right, up, and down with a spiral energy, yes? Right. Or else you cannot maintain the center. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Right? That, yeah. that is the beginning of action. Yeah. Then with that rotation, that means it creates open and close. Right? Movement that like create open and close. When it create open and close, it, it create what absorb and project. That means they create pull and push. Right? With the pull and push, then you can you can pull to do application or you can push to do application. You see? All right? Then you are you are pull and push to the point of contact. And the point of contact, you are connecting to, from point to point. That is our main, 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 main that when, when this is the third section that, like I said, unifying the opponent, you see, from center to centers. All right, everything is about connecting center to centers. How far, how many centers can you connect? How many centers can you stretch out? Right? The center that you stretch out and you must able to return to complete the cycle. To con if you cannot complete the cycle, that means you are not connected. Right? Like Tao talk about one, two, three, you see? Positive and negative. You must, you must connect the positive and negative. But with the center, with the center, I mean connecting also. Connecting your center to the opponent's center. Yes. But there, there's a lot of other training, like I said, that, I mean, the words like connecting the center to the center, how do you know you have connect? <laughs> right? How do you know you have connect your centers? Right? Now, when we talk about the connecting centers, it's always the reflect the re reflection energy. Rebounds energy. Yes? Yeah. Like like you like like center hit center there will be rebouncing, yes? Yeah. If don't rebounce, if don't rebounce back, then you will you, you are not hitting the centers. It, it, yeah, it didn't connect. It, 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 that means you go each it, it will be diverted, you see, like you're bouncing the ball, you see? Yeah. If you hit the center, you bounce back. Right. If you don't hit the center, you go off. Right. Right? There's a lot of this kind of training to to recognize the centers, you see. Mm -hmm. So once you're able to connect the centers, then then the attention is to connect. Then how far can you connect? Then we talk about the um because these connections, your attention talk about is like a like a network, you see, like a Wi-Fi, you see. Mm -hmm. Is my is your wi is is like I say that if my Wi-Fi my Wi-Fi have connect, connect 10 centers, like connect this whole whole house, mm. right? But your Wi-Fi is only this room. Mm. That within this room, you get the information. 
outside of this room, you don't have information. All right. Yes? Yeah. But outside of this, outside of this room, but they they fall under my 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 area. I got information, you don't have information. All right. Yes? Yeah. So that means outside. Outside information will sooner or later will come into your room. Yes? Mm. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. But actually it's connected. It's already connected, but you don't you cannot see that on it, you see? Yeah. But that means what? That means outside is your future. Mm. Then your future is under my present. Mm. Right? Yeah. Then how can you be faster than me? You tell me. Right. No way. Yeah. No way. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Right. So yeah. We, we we talk about not talk. We don't talk about fast or slow. You see. Right. Yeah. You talk about connect and con and the the the, the timing and spacing. Ah. Yeah. Right. Like I said, if I'm already here, if I'm in the moment here, I'm present here, I'm here all the time. Right. Then how can you faster than me, when I'm here? Hmm. Right. Yeah. Mm. Unless you get me off. If I sit over here, you cannot sit over here, so. <laughs> yes? Yeah. If I occupy this space, you cannot occupy here. Yeah. See, this is all, all, all a quality that we look for. Once you understand this, so, so it's not about <laughs> how fast you can do it, see? Mm. Right. One one connect you you really know. Right? And you and you and you can occupy everything already. So the art is about this, you see, it's not about how fast you can strike. Right. Now, see, like you said that especially when we talk about Chinese Kung Fu, see. Uh Chinese Kung Fu is about skill. Right, it's not only for fighting, is it? That's why we call sometimes the taxi driver a sifu also, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, Chinese call sifu, a right. as a sifu also, is it? Right, right. They talk the kung fu also, is it? You could kung fu, you see, not only martial good kung fu, is it? It's about the skill. But uh, nowadays, because of uh, interpretations that um, uh, martial is more like just for fighting, you see. Right. All right, so we um, I mean, hopefully because that like us here, see, as like you especially, right? <laughs> like um, uh, we try to I mean uh, I mean spread spread out that arts is not only for fighting, you see, it's all for human humanity, you see. I agree a hundred percent. I think that yeah. that's the most important. That's I think that that's the um. I, I like to ask people when I interview them what they think the future of these arts is in the in the world, and I, I really hope that it's to enrich human beings' lives and make them better people. And it seems like that's what you're trying to do with your art. Um. I, yes. I think yeah. Yeah. Because the first of all, you must recognize who you are first. You see. Yeah. yeah. Right. Now, if you're if, who you are, then you know your limits. Right. Yeah, you stay your limits, you stay within your limits. That is what martial art is, you see. Mm. Right? If you stay within your boundary, then you are safe. <laughs> and you won't violate people also. Yeah. All right? It's only afraid of violation, you see, violating people. Yeah. All right? So, um, I mean, we, we try to promote this. I mean, uh, not only on martial arts, you see, on all different uh, career also, you see, right? How to pay attention, to, right? That means we 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 come we we do teach in college. We are subject in uh, universities. We teach subject like a uh, learning how to learn, mm. and also subject like um corporate uh, corporate and conflict. All right, yeah. Have been many years already. We we promote this. They each subject um is three three credit course. You see, it's academy. We so so we said our Zhong Xin Dao is the philosophy that 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 try to share with to academy, to body work, uh, to corporate, 
to the different lines, you see, and even to even to the Jun Shizhou also to martial arts, you see, to self defense. Right. So unfortunately, we're about out of time, Master Chin. But um, before we go, could you tell people where they can find out more about you and about Elite Twin? Uh, I believe that if you can go into my website, the uh, Chen, I L I Q C H U A N dot com. Right, then uh, you can have um, all information over there. Yeah. You see, yeah. I mean, so uh, we we welcome those who come to, I mean, participate or I mean, just friendly kind of uh, asking questions, right? Um, I mean, to uh, we said that I'm I'm free, I'm out, I I would able to, I'm I'm open enough. I'm open it up. There's no secrets for me. Yeah. You see? I, I, I always say that the secret protect themselves. You see? Hmm. Yeah. The real secret protect themselves. You see? There's no secret, practically speaking. The real secret, but you protect themselves. You need to go and explore it. You need to uncover, discover it or uncover it. You see? Then, then, then it belongs to you. <laughs> right. 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 You, you know, it's not like secret. I tell you now, or you can do it. No. You need to work. I only can point. All right? I try to point it out. I try to, at least what I know, I try to give information and then you guys can do some research on it. You see? I share, I share what I know. So, but don't believe in me first. <laughs> I would say, don't believe in me. You see? Unless you tried it out. Yeah. See for yourself, right? Yeah, see it for yourself. Well, Master Chin, thank you very much for uh, speaking with me today. It was very educational and enlightening. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, we can speak to you again sometime in the future. I okay, yeah, welcome. So, anytime, you yeah, see, thanks. anytime. If you want me to talk something, I could just, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm.